Hello everybody, DT here. Today has some exciting news for you and I'm going to show you a brand new prototype which will be coming to you in the next Boom Beach update and it is oh so fiery. The name of the prototype is a hot pot. Level 1 will be available to you at HQ level 19, level 2, HQ level 20 and level 3, HQ 21 and above. And let's go ahead and take a look at this baby in action because believe me, I think it's going to change a whole lot in the gameplay and I'm going to show you some replays of the friendly battles. Everything has been recorded on the Boom Beach developers account, which is why we are able to show this to you earlier. And thanks so much to Supercell for letting me go ahead and take a peek at this before the update is available. So. These are the friendly battles of the Boom Beachers that are going to be bringing this content to you. And let's go ahead and take a look at me trying to go up against my opponent's base. And guys, this is kind of a uh, an eye opener here. Look at that. We are going to talk about the radius of the hot pot in just a second. The radius of the hot pot is six and a half squares. So a total diameter of 13 squares that completely changes the game. So what I did is I basically showed this to you really Really, really quickly how it can just burn down your troops in absolutely no time and we can look at the various combinations of troops you can go with your favorite uh, you know heavies and zookas and you can go with your cry zooka or rifleman medic and zooka or tanks and medics but you know the radius being so so fantastic only so few troops are actually able to take down the hot pot without being taken down super duper quickly in addition to that the hp are just through the roof so you really have to be super mindful of how much GBE you have. What are you going to take down on the base first? Are you going to take down the rocket launchers or whatnot? Or what is your strategy? This is going to change the gameplay dramatically. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one over here. Um, there is a possibility, obviously, of taking it down. There's nothing that is unbeatable and un un undoable in Boom Beach, right? And I'm going to show you um, me defending my base against another player. And he actually successfully takes it down and uses a very sneaky combo. So my prediction is that a lot more of that combo will be coming to us in the coming months after the update is live. Um, and what I thought here is obviously we have our Grenadiers that have really great range. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the Grenadiers right at the corner of the shore. At this point, the rocket launcher is down. I don't have medics in this combo. So I'm thinking, I am at least going to be able to cause some serious damage and uh, you know put a little bit of a hack into the um, into the hot pots or actually should I just leave them be and go through the corner of the base and avoid them altogether so if that's what you want to do then surely I think we'll be seeing a lot more combinations um, of smoky everything so smoking your troops up and away from the reach of the hot pots hot pots will pop up, up from under the ground when the troops are within the reach and I'm going to show that to you in just a minute and then when the troops are away and when they're no longer in the radius in the vicinity they will pop back into the ground into the safety of their armored top so what I'm doing here is trying to avoid them and just go through the corner and look at that as soon as we're in the radius uh, in that six and a half squares radius, right? The hot pot pops up, so I'm thinking, I'm just gonna reflare and uh, smoke my troops away and avoid it all together. So I think there'll be a lot of that happening because it is a really, really difficult uh, prototype. Uh, I mean, completely, unbelievably powerful and um, has a lot of HP, but still, like I said, it's not undoable. And let's take a look at this replay over here. This is me trying to defend my base, my puny little base. And as you can see, my opponent here has gotten a strategy. What he's doing is a two lane push. Take a look at what's happening. He is pushing from both right and left side and what that is doing is basically allowing him to eliminate the defenses that are uh, you know most damaging in this case of course there are the hot pots and he takes down the shock launchers on both sides and from there on 
he will have absolutely no issues taking down my base. So this was a successful takedown and this is another one where uh, I was able to defend and just take a look at how quickly even a Scorcher that has so much, um, you know, so much health, how quickly it gets taken down as soon as it becomes of the radius of the hot pot and as soon as the hot pot pops up it is basically so quick so so quick it's 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 like an instant death of almost any troop th there is out there and also think about it you know you could be boosting your uh, troops damage and troops health and it really is not going to do much when you're going up against the hot pot so what I think we're going to be seeing is a comeback, uh, a big time comeback of the Grenadiers and the combos that feature Grenadiers and also just figuring out how you can smoke your troops further out and away from the hot pot. And this is what I was telling you guys about. Um, this is the radius, right? So six and a half squares each way. So 13 squares diameter. Uh, keep that in mind because this means that most of the troops that you are probably using on everyday basis in everyday raiding are going to be hugely affected by the hot pot. So as soon as the update is out, go ahead, get your hands on it figure out how you are going to be going up against an opponent with a hot pot and this one here is level two I also have a level three hot pot which uh, both of them were featured in the replays that I just showed you so level three obviously is totally ninja amazing 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 um, but like I said in order for you to have a level three you would have to have an HQ level 21 or higher so I'm assuming there are a ton of players out there that are still not uh, totally maxed out or you know have HQ of level 21 one and below that is why I showed you both the level two and the three and level one is just kind of the toned down version of level two so guys if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like smack it real hard and don't forget to be checking in with boom beach forums for the update and when it's going to drop and I'll see you in the next episode until then DT is out